This is Fat Schmokes, my fresh start rule to come. In this series, we set out on a journey to experience all the high-end RuneScape content I never had. And our final goal? To complete all quests and ultimately earn ourselves a quest cape. No fucking way! Yes! Did you, did, did I got I got the brew I got the Briopithas essence drop seven mil. Holy shit, guys! I had some time to wind down from that drop. I was actually watching a movie with friends, but what the hell, man? That's our biggest drop on the account so far. That's like seven million base value. I have no idea how much it is gonna actually be worth in these fresh uh, start worlds, man. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I, I actually can't wait. I can't wait to figure out how much we're gonna get for that, because that is gonna pay for most of our gear really i think yeah it's probably gonna allow us to afford rings and armor and whatnot so i'm 100 looking forward to what we can flip this into would you look at that boys we finally got an easy task let's go ahead and do it i absolutely love this cannon boys it's making everything so much faster especially these slayer grinds all right boys look at this i just re-logged while doing this hellhound task we just got level 60 ranged and level 49 slayer but the bigger one is in terms of total level, we're now in the top 1,000. We're rank 979 of Fresh Start Worlds. I'd say that our massive push has been has been paying off, by the way, in case you were curious. In the meantime, the time played on our account is five hours and or five five hours. Five days and eighteen hours. We've been uh, we've been going pretty hard. Would you look at that boy? Strength level 70. Next up, attack level 70. Ladies and gentlemen, today is November 23rd. Yesterday was a dark day with the servers being down all day obviously we couldn't really progress uh but here we are i am still on the slayer grind unfortunately cannonballs are just not buying at all uh for a reasonable price anyway so i decided to make my own which was kind of a mistake as well because i overpaid massively for the steel bars that i ended up having to buy to make the cannonballs myself however getting the smithing levels is kind of nice maybe we can get like 50 smithing off of this or something probably not but yeah, so we've had the, the staff drop, hasn't sold yet, and I checked out the GE tracker for Fresh Start Worlds. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a late game item, because, you know, who at this point is going to be high elking thousands of bows? I can either sit on it for the next few weeks and hope that it sells eventually, but quite frankly, I need the money right now, so I decided to lower the price in the GE. I put it in for 2.5 mil. Hopefully it sells within the next 24 hours. That's what they've been selling for generally. And we can use that money and put it towards getting some skills up. I'm going to be on the Slayer grind probably for today. Uh, I've got a lot of, uh, or I've got a few keys already. Uh, we're going to open all those keys at some point, see what kind of rewards we got. And then we're going to move on to the next part of our grind, which is finally going out and grinding out the Barrow's Gloves. The reason I haven't done it so far is because doing quests all day can be a little... Well, let's just say it can turn you uh, insane. All right, boys. So remember when I said I was going to do my Slayer grind? I'm going to do that. But before I go, I noticed this. Yeah, we're going back to Shades of Morton for a few hours. So here we are. We're back at Shades of Morton. And I'm going to give you guys a quick overview of how the minigame works. Just so you have an idea of why nobody's doing it, really. It, it's not difficult, but it's just kind of tedious. I'm going to speed the process up and I'm just going to take you guys through how the minigame works step by step. First, making the oils. Alright, so that's about 8 minutes for one inventory of 22 oils. Now you can get 23 as well, but I wasn't sure my bracelet was going to last. And I think it, yeah, 5 charges, so next time we're going to have to bring 2 as well. Yeah, it's a pretty tedious process. Alright, so I found a little more efficient way to do it. Once you've uh, built a temple once, you can just kind of chain them together. You want to wait for like 1 or 2 damage ticks on the temple. Um, when you start repairing it then, you have to do well, less than half of the original repair work. And you get around enough sanctity for one full inventory of, of oils. So if you are going to do this, I highly recommend just chaining a bunch of these after each other. Otherwise, you're going to have to rebuild the temple completely from scratch every single time. And it's just such a time sink. So 
Yeah, let it take like one or two ticks of damage. You can always kill the shades next to this. Uh, if you're killing shades next to the temple, it also gives you sanctity. Because, uh, yeah, otherwise you don't get enough sanctity. And not having enough sanctity means you can't get a full inventory of oil, which is obviously a waste of time. So, yeah. Be smart. All right, so, so far I've been using uh, U-Log so we can burn the Ascent Shades. However, Ascent Shades also give you a lot of black keys, which unfortunately don't net us anything useful. Now, to get a higher chance at only having silver keys and gold keys... We need to kill fire shades. However, to get to the rooms they're in, we need to get a silver key first. So we're quickly gonna carefully do one U log at a time, get a silver key, and then as the next part of this grind, if we want to burn fire shades, we need to have access to. Ah, there we go. Well, that was fast. Uh, we need to have access to magic logs, and you can make or burn magic power logs at level 80 fire making. We're 78. We're very close. So. We're quickly going to grind out 80 fire making, and then we're going to get all the silver keys in the world. All right, boys. And now to gather 165 of these shade remains, and then we get to grind out our fire making. Fun times. Hey, look at that, boys. We got level 66 hit points, and that brings us to level 80 combat. Another nice milestone for the account. Although I hope that we can get up to 90 or 100 relatively fast. All right, boys, before we start fire making, we're quickly going to open our brimstone keys and see if we get lucky and maybe get some... Oh! Okay, not bad. We might get some luck, so let's see what we get. Rune ore. Oh, that's a lot of coal. And a Mystic Hat Dusk? I wonder... Okay, not as much as I hoped it would be, but hey! That's not bad. That's how much uh, in terms of rewards? Okay, approximately 400k. Not bad. Let's see what this uh, brings up on the GE then. Not bad. Mystic Hat sold for 200k. And then our seeds also sold for 200k. So that's 400k plus whatever we get from this. Not bad at all. As you can see, I also lowered the price on uh, the staff because unfortunately it was not selling. So yeah, I hope it sells for this much. I'm not going to lie, boys. I am so happy right now that I spent early game doing Winter Tot because I've been fire making for almost an ha maybe an hour now. Something like that. And I swear to God, if I had to do this to level 80 manually, I would have given myself Carpal Tunnel Syndrome. This is definitely not the most enjoyable skill to level. It's a uh, pretty resident sleeper as well. I've just been watching level the Level up, podcast. completed. Here we go. That is level 80 fire making. And that is also our first level 80 stat on the account. Would you look at that? And that means we can now burn magic pyre logs. Silver keys galore. All right, so the next piece of the puzzle is actually making the pyre logs. It's not the most interesting activity to do. Essentially, all you have to do is use the sacred oil you created on the logs and it turns them into power logs. Pretty simple. All right, and here we are in the next step of the process, which is actually offering the remains. Now, if you use magic logs and fire remains, the lowest level key you can get is actually the silver key. Uh, the reason we obviously went for this is because the silver key is also the lowest level key that actually gives you uh, the uh, amulet of the dam. So, yeah. Good reason we uh, got the level 80 fire making. It took us a little while, but here we are. And we're not getting any keys for the clip. Amazing. Here you go. The first key we got, a gold key. Very nice. Level up. Completed. Hey, level 48 prayer. Very nice. Boys, look at these prayer levels coming in, man. Let's go. That's 49 prayer. All right, boys, here comes the fun part. Time to get some dopamine hits. Is this the... Wrong key. This one. There we go. And we got our first amulet. Bunch of alka balls. Those fine cloths sell for quite a bit as well, so that's nice. Ooh, gold keys, gold locks. And that is our gold keys done. All right, let's get out of here. All right, not bad for a second inventory. No amulets. Done. That's our next inventory. And as you can see, I literally just put that amulet of the damned on the GE for one mil. And it sold in, like, what? Five minutes? Very good. So let's hope we get some more because uh, so far we've been going pretty dry. Ah, nice. That's another mill. Uh, that's another mill. Last key. Never lucky. That's a very unlucky inventory. Let's go. Another mill. Damn, that's three mill in one inventory. Holy shit. A lot of diamond rings. Not what we want. All right. Unfortunate. Alright guys, so here's our loot tab at the end of the adventure alongside with some items that uh, got lost in my bank. We're going to put those amulets in for 1.2 mil because the last one we got, as you can see, insta sold, 4 mil. So let's see if we can leverage people to pay even more. You know what the best thing is? This item 
literally costs 30k in the main game. 1.2 mil here. Let's see if we can get it. Hey, level 65 attack. Let's go. So I just noticed that I also got two full crystal keys. So let's see if we actually uh, get something exciting. Nah, I should have sold the keys. The keys were worth 20k pop. So I'm nearly done alking all the stuff that we got from uh, Chase of Morton. This is all the extra stuff we got out of 160 ish keys that we got and that is nearly a mil profit as well uh, i don't know if it's profit but it definitely is way more than the supplies we bought so pretty good cash stack up to three mil and hopefully tomorrow morning it's gonna be green all right so randomly in the middle of the night my friend invited me to uh see if we could attempt to kill corp now unfortunately his twitch account is new and i wasn't recording at the time so i couldn't take any of the clips but let's just suffice it to say that I died roughly 15 times before the clip that you're about to see. I got three food left. I've got seven. Yeah, should get him. Yeah, we'll be fine. Get fucked. Let's go. Yeah, That's my first oh, ever no. 750 Adi arrows. arrows. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's come back here later when we have better shit. Yep. I just saw an amazing message when I logged on. Would you look at this, boys? That is a cool 4 mil off of 4 amulets. We still have one more in the GE. These things are finally selling and they're selling for so much. Let's go. What's the cash stack up to now? 6.5 mil. We're finally getting somewhere. We almost reached 10 million bank value. Let's go, boys. Range level 65. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Level 55 Slayer. All right, boys, look at this. We sold the last of the Amis. Let's put it in the bank and let's see what the final value is. Boys, 10.9 million. You love to see it. 7.7 .7 mil cash stack, absolutely beautiful. All right, friends, we had a few um, busy days in real life. So I tried doing some idle money makers. One of them has been creating teak planks there aren't a lot on the economy right now and because of that people have been willing to pay an absolute premium for them just not instantly so here i made roughly five six hundred over a few days cost me a fraction and per inventory i make like 25 26k so it's pretty nice using the uh, the butler to uh insta store the planks you can do this pretty fast and there you go another step closer to the 10 mil cash stack Aside from the planks, I've also obviously been doing a lot of AFKing in the Nightmare Zone to train my combat stats and buying herb boxes. So we're going to see what these uh, what these herbs are worth. Right now, the guide prices seem pretty nice. Let's see if they actually sell for this as well. All right, that is uh, roughly three days worth of herb boxes sold. And that's another, well, almost a cool mill. Very nice. Bank value went up as well. Oh, we're just 750k short of getting a green cash stack. We're so close now. Alright boys, we just achieved another milestone. Look at that. That's level 50 hunter just doing birdhouses. Yay! G giant applause for low effort skills. Here I am, viewers, doing my absolute favorite pastime. Not really. We're out here in Canafis running around in circles, and honestly, that's kind of what the last week has been like. We haven't been the most focused on our goals. Obviously, we said at the start our goals were gonna be Barrow's gloves and getting the quest cape, but Last week, we may have gotten a little bit sidetracked. Now, we are still working on the main goals, but we, you know, we got sidetracked doing a bit of money making here and there. And we're almost at the green cash stack now. I've also obviously went out and killed Corp with my friend. And yeah, I've just kind of been getting back into the game, really. Uh, it's really fun that I've met some people that are way more experienced at the game than I am, evident by, you know, their dedication and their skill in the game. And it's, it's also fun to kind of get these opportunities to learn you know how to do these high level bosses and uh, you know how to skill more effectively and stuff like that i don't think i'm anywhere close to how good the veterans are but hey at the end of the day this series is kind of about my reintroduction to the game and me not really having a lot of experience right i've been re-watching uh, swamp Letics while doing this uh, you know felt fitting considering we're in cannabis next week we're gonna try to get back into it properly i I've set my goal for next week to be Barrow's Gloves and I want to reach it ASAP. I don't think it's going to take us the whole week. We have most of the skills already. This is These are the skills right now as they are of um, the 27th of November. And ultimately, the skills that we've been training so far are to do one very specific quest. One quest that will hopefully net us a lot of money because the quest that we're currently training to take on is Monkey Madness 2. 